Hey everyone, what's up? Now that the game has been released on new platforms, I decided to make a new video talking about how to play as the Fire Team on Pair of the Guns, which is pretty simple. The game during the match pretty much tells you everything that you need to do and other stuff is just like usually like common sense. But for builds for like what you should use when you play, like at the start, if you're like level one, you don't have anything unlocked, surprisingly the game actually gives you very good options right away. At level 1, you should have only the Assault class unlocked, which is already a pretty good class. It's overall very well balanced, have a good amount of HP, stamina, movement speed, gear, and perk points. It doesn't really sacrifice one stat for another. It's just very well balanced, good for damage, good for aiming, overall very good. It's not like the Scout, which sacrifices HP for stamina, or to support, which just sacrifices speed for, this, for, for HP. So, good, very good class. Now for weapons, what you should use on the class. Surprisingly, the first assault rifle and the first pistol are actually okay. They're not the best ones. Best assault rifle would be the hammerhead, which is unlocked, I think, at level 100. So that might take a while for, for you guys, unless you guys just buy the Dutch 2025 DLC, which is going to unlock the gun right away. But otherwise, even the first assault rifle is like okay, which I'm going to be using here in this match. First pistol is also okay. Second pistol is OP, but this first one is already pretty strong on its own. Like, it's, it's already good enough, trust me. Knife, you can use any, they all, they, they might look different, but they all do the same kind of damage, they're, I believe, damage range, everything is the same for all the knives, so it doesn't really matter which one you use, for the gear, always use the field suppress, most important gear, so if you get attacked, you can just heal right away, second option would probably be for the assault, since you can carry medicates, I like the UAV scanners, because with the UAV scanners, you might, you have to level up a little bit more to get this, but with the UAV scanners, you can find medicates and ammo in the map, so it just, I believe that is overall more useful than use medicates. But then again, in some situations you might have to use medicates right away. It's just situational. But I prefer scanners. But if you don't have this unlock it, you can try to bring like anything else. I, I believe at this side you won't have anything. As soon as you have medicates unlock it, bring them. Or you can bring ammo bags. Medicates or ammo bags are good for assault. But when you are in a higher level, UAV scanners can save your life just because of the amount of resources which you can find while using this. Or the perks. Best perks in the game for the assault, in my opinion, the best combination would be putting gearhead and thick skin. The gearhead won't take long for you to unlock. Action here is also good for even aiming a little bit better. Assault already has the passive of increased hip fire accuracy, and with action here it gets even easier. But when you have gearhead unlocked, put it right right away, because you get one more serrat, one more skin or medicate, you get more gear, and it counts for every single gear that you're carrying. Very good. Thick skin is just overall better for for survivability also, because you have more HP, you have 25 more HP, so you can get tankier, you can survive for longer, you can take more damage, and this can also save your life. This combination, Thick Skin and Gearhead is very good, but if you don't have Thick Skin, you can put, for example, like Action Hero, for better aiming, or you can also put, if you need to XP, Efficiency can, can be okay, I mean, until you can unlock the actual perks that help you in the game, you can put this, like, and it's like, okay, but definitely, as soon as you unlock Thick Skin, put it on, because you sure need more HP. So overall, this is a very good starting build for any new players that are on this game. Now let's see this in action. Here in the lobby, you always want to try to vote for the location which is closest to the mission. In this case here, I know it's green, because this mission here that I can see here right away, I have played, already played this many times, so I know it's going to be in the north, no, southwest camp. So in the southwest camp, the best location is going to be green here, and northwest, that's going to be like the best location for you to drop in the map, so you can get to the mission the fastest. If you're like, vote for your own location, sometimes you have to cross the entire map to get to get to starting the mission. For the fire, I think the best option is always to kind of like speed run the mission. Either that or kill, chase the predator down. But that's always going to depend a little bit on how good the the player that you're playing against is like but usually like speedrunning the mission just focusing on getting the mission done fast is just the best way you do the mission you call the chopper you get away i wish that, like the match could be a little longer but sometimes really just speedrunning the mission is the most efficient way to play as the fire team which can be kind of boring because like you're not really like enjoying the game and the match you know so when the match starts you can see the objective right there the game or you can just press so you can see the map it just shows you where you need to go just that that's where the mission is and as you proceed through each objective and you go to like to which you meet your objective you go to the mission the game it just usually tells you everything on your screen or like it's gonna so show you in the hud what you need to press we need to get if you need to like to get a computer and this and that oh and also mudding up 
usually want to do this as soon as the match starts, but I kind of don't really care at this point. Like, usually I don't mud up sometimes because I want actually the Predator to find where I am. Because a lot of times they don't. A lot, a lot of new Predator players, they have this trouble of not being able to find the fire thing. So if I just mud up and hide and just do what I told you about, just speed running the mission, I'm going to probably finish the mission before the Predators even find me. Which is something that I already covered in my, my Predator uh, guide. My Predator guide, I tell Predator players, use Tracker so you can always find the fire thing. Because people that don't use Tracker, they're just using Hunter Fervent. They use Static Isolation too late into the match. And the fire thing has already mudded up and they have no idea how to find the fire thing. And that's a big problem because you just... By the time that you find the fire thing, they already finished the mission. Because it can be just be speed run it and you can just finish it fast. Like here, as you guys could see, you had to just kill a guy, get his key, open this. And all this objective is, is decreasing, is being done. I could actually just proceed to the next one because I already know which next objective is going to be at. It's going to be at the north camp. Oh, Predator left. That's another problem in this game. So let's restart because the Predator quit the game. So that's something that can happen. Okay, we got in ourselves into a lobby, but it's missing players. And when this is the case, the players are going to be replaced by bots, as you guys can see here. Bot Bravo and Bot Alpha, Dutch and Support. These bots are not very good. They're just going to follow you around. And they can usually throw you medicates and ammo, but that's only when you are really low on those things. Like when your HP is really low, when your ammo is low, they can throw you. They can be very good against melee predators. If the predator comes up close and try to use a melee weapon, and he gets the cloak, the, the bots are going to melt the predator. The predator is going to get destroyed. However, if the predator is smart, he can just stay cloaked and shoot like arrows from far against the, the bots, and they cannot do anything. The bots are, are like aim bots up close against the predator but from far they are just kind of brain dead they, they don't do objectives you have to do anything everything yourself you know the bots they are just like very basic the most basic bots that you ever see they, they move very mechanical they're just kind of brain dead they're just brain dead dumb they just like do them but they have aim bots so there is that but that only works when the predators uncloak it and most predators use melee so they can help you As, to be honest they are actually more useful than most of your normal teammates in this game most of the player base is not very good or has been like a teammate, so the bots can actually help you a lot. So when they're not a full team, when there's not full players, the match is going to start a countdown here for two minutes, and hoping that it's going to get players to join up and replace the bots. Otherwise, it's just going to start with the bots. But usually there is a two-minute countdown. But always remember to press ready when you get into a lobby, so things can go faster. Right now, I only have two assault deadly. Here, we have another player, a predator. This guy has the open mic. Yeah, look. <laughs> He's talking there. This is actually good because you can hear his 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 microphone in the match, and there is my proximity voice right, chat. So you're all with the chainsaw stuff. Yeah, I'm all yeah with that. Like the, he's I'm just talking, but I'll turn it on when the match starts because this actually helps to find the predator faster. Your goal in the match should be to just do the mission and get out, just leave. But if if you can actually find the predator and just chase him and try to bully him, because actually oh this guy also left, so it's just me against the predator. It's gonna be. I think I won't view a match unless the predator quits too. So you can just focus on trying to just always use this to your, your advantage. You know, use the fact that he's he has an open mic. Yep. So you can always know where he is. You can always hear, hear him coming up close from far. Right. So I'm it's going to make it our, your job much easier. I'm all covered uh, this guy is annoying. But it's still, it's gonna, I can use this to, to my advantage. A lot of players don't get this. That you can, if, you, if your microphone is open... People can just hear you much easier. And they're going to be like, oh, how can you know I'm here? How can you know where, where I'm at? Oh, so actually, this is going to be a 1v1 match. Just me and three bots against the Predator. Because the other guy left. Actually, this is better. I, I, I have more faith in the boss than the average fire team in this game. And like I said, if the Predator use melee, they can help. Also, if you die, you can you can use a replace. You can just take over the bots. And like you have like an extra life. The bots actually, they give you like an extra life. Which is actually a good thing. Yeah, let's turn this my guy microphone on. So if he comes in, he starts coming close to me, I'll be able to hear him right away. And he's a berserker. By the way, the worst predator class in the game. Okay, now this time I, I'm gonna do it right. As soon as the match starts, you use the mud. I usually don't because, like I said, predators have a, some hard time finding where the fire thing is because the 
a tutorial of the of the predator in this game is terrible i already made a video teaching people how to actually play as the predator in this game and how you if you are a beginner just use striker please so you can actually find where the fighting is instead of just like only knowing where he where they are at when they call the chopper and he's shooting plasma at ai i can see that he got a one ai kill i heard the plasma caster so he's probably just shooting ai okay i guess he doesn't know how to find me so he didn't even have to mud up ais are just gonna cl stay close to you and probably kill the bots for you i hope so because yeah, kill, kill them for me please because they don't do objectives so you actually have to be the one doing the objectives if you have bots on your team oh the guy is close i heard his microphone Usually in this map, predators love coming to the roof. Also, I'm hearing the clicking noise, which is a noise that the predator does every few seconds when he's cloaked. Where is the bread? Oh, I can actually... I forgot. I have the scanner, which is going to help me find where all the resources are in this area and also find where the oh, predator is there. He got spotted. He got a hammer. Come on, fight, Predator. The bots should be following me, but they are not. Ah, whatever. Yeah, he doesn't... He seems to have, have to be having trouble to find where I'm shooting him from. Okay. I'll just do this. Oh, he's attacking the, one of the bots? Or, I don't know what the... I heard the noise from the hammer. So, in this mission here... Oh, as you guys could see... The game kind of tells you where to go. At the start, like, it just shows you the, the distance that you are from the objective. When you get to the objective, you just do like the little, uh, it just, the game pretty much is very like self-explanatory in the missions. He told me to come to this area, I had to do this objective while holding the key. And now that this objective is done, I have to go to the other one. Like mission-wise, the game is pretty simple, like, it just literally tells you. You have a guy on the mic, just Zeus, like the AI telling you where to go. It just shows, there is always a waypoint telling you where the location to go, and you, when you get there, you get the next objective. Predator is still in the roof. I don't think he realizes that the frightening is here. I have no idea what he's doing. Oh, he's there. Hello. Can you try to kill me? Because I'm getting bored. And he doesn't seem to know the difference between the player and, you know, a just normal AI. Yeah, he has no idea what he's doing. This is the average predator, by the way. He's second winded. And, oh my god. He just gave up. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was a really bad player. So, oh, on the defusing part, fuck, I usually do this by insect. But you want to match the, the symbol above to the one uh, under it, you know? So you have to look for four symbols and have to ma make them match. And when they match the one that you, you're changing to the one that is down, that is uh, below it, you just press it, press it and you get and you'll be able to defuse each one of the symbols. Then, well, this was a <laughs> stupid easy game. Uh, that's just how it goes in this game. Okay, let's try to have a more exciting match this time. We also have a bot again. I'm not gonna mud up. I screwed. it. So when the match starts, waypoint shows you to the distance where the objective is. And it's right at this camp. This is a small map excavation. Which just allows you to be able to speed run the missions even faster. And it has the predator to also find the fire team at the start really fast before they even get there. But for this guy, oh, he has not done anything. Oh, he used the resolution just now. So now that I'm not mudding up, he might be able to find me. So, UAI. Oh, when you get to the camp, you want to destroy these things here. Oh, stupid AI. They usually have the yeah, yellow thing right there. You know, you can spot them from from above, like from the, just looking up right there. You want to turn off these alarms so the camp that you're doing the mission on doesn't get full of AIs. These, these AIs, usually they can be harder to fight against than the actual predator a lot of times, you know. Now, where the other alarm? Usually the alarm locations are always like kind of, kind of like the same. On public games, there are like three alarms per camp. Yeah, another one there. The objective is there. This guy is already doing it. Good. And I'm going to turn off the alarms so we don't... Oh, that guy is getting killed by the predator. So, one guy got spotted by the predator. He's just not with us. He just... I think he was AFK. Stay close to the fire thing, everyone. When, it, when the match starts, like, run to your teammates, just go to the objective together. Don't do what this guy did, but they, you're gonna experience this a lot, so... 
I suppose if Predator found this guy, and I don't know, he's not even killing him. I mean, I assume the Predator down him, but I don't even know, like... Yeah, I think he's up close. What? He's just hitting himself? What? I don't know what this guy is doing. It's kind of weird. Oh, is he trying... He might be trying to use an exploit. You might exceed players like this, batting place. I think he's trying to use an exploit involving Reckless, but I don't think... That's how it actually works. He would need to do this somewhere else. Kind of weird. Okay. Go to the camp together. Usually that's the best approach. Oh, I heard noise coming from this branch. A reason why I like this cannon is that I can find where the predator is and also the resources in the camp. There he is. Oh, wow. Oh. And the predator died already. That was fast. Okay. Yeah, you can experience that a lot. Like I said, threat, uh, the fighting weapons are pretty good. They are pretty OP, to be honest. And this is something that you can see a lot. Like, I'm just playing this matches one after the other. And the Predators, they, they just die so easily. Like, if you're not careful as the Predator, this is what's going to happen to you. Because I think the damage was just coming from me and one other player. They already left. They already said, like, fuck it. That's a lot of how the game is like. A Predator comes up in close. Fighting spots the Pred, they start shooting him, and the Predator dies, and you can just defuse and win you in the match. Like, see? This is what I call speedrunning for XP. And I really want to, like, I, I think this, this is a more accurate description of how a lot of the matches go. Most players, they don't, they don't know how to actually play as the Predator, and, they, and this ends up happening. It's just that easy. Uh, or you can just try, if the Predator is good, you might be able to actually... Uh, he won't die that easily, and so you can actually finish up the entire mission, do the objective, call the chopper, and escape the chopper. Because that is not that option. Or you can win the match like this, and it also works. And you get, I think it's by, if you're gonna just buy XP per minute, you can level up faster by doing this. If you kill the predator fast, you're just gonna get XP right away. Doing the mission, having to call the chopper can take up like sometimes over 10 minutes, and... Well, this match was pretty fast, pretty much like, you see the Pret, you shoot him, he doesn't know how to react, and he dies. And I'm just using the... I'm just using...